He's an animal. So did you, just, you do any shows with him? Or bur- you did Bird. I did some Bird, That's fully right. loaded. There's the yeah. sweater. Yeah. That's right. We, yeah. He just asked us to do the cruise, and we got to make a decision. Yeah. The cruise, if our right? health can handle a cruise with Bert Kreischer. It's only four days, but it's, you know, Bert four That's days. That's wild. I didn't yeah. know he was doing a cruise. Oh, yeah. He's an animal. We just yeah. did oh, Matt, Red Rocks over? again. Okay. Like, wow. he just doesn't stop. Yeah, he doesn't stop. Do you ever, do you stop? Do you, like, I need a, are you not yeah. going to tour until you have a full New uh, act? No, I gotta come up with stuff by the end of January. Yeah. <laughs> oh boy. Yeah. It's tough. It's but I took five months. I did an act- acting gig in Toronto. Mm. Yeah, you're with. It's with The Rock, right? Uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger. Whoa. Arnold Schwarzenegger. Whoa. The yeah. White Rock. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Was he cool? He was awesome. He seems cool. He's really cool. Yeah. Legend. Yeah. 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 And he's still pretty. He was pre-rock. He's the original. Yeah, exactly. Ten years ago, like yeah? she like said that she was his trainer, like lied to him just to like talk to him. Oh, hilarious! He's like, "Are you my partner?" And he's like, "She's like, yeah, it's me." And she's like, "This five foot five girl." Uh, funny. He's like, "Okay, let's go." She's he like, asks oh. every woman if uh, they're his partner. <laughs> That's his move. So Are you got my the partner? <laughs> uh, so you just bought an umbrella. It's. I mean, this is yeah. this is not. We all have curly hair. This is not curly hair weather raining I know, outside because of the rain. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> We, yeah, I just I never buy. That's like my thing. I never buy an umbrella. Me neither. I can't you're do true, it. You're a true New Yorker. I just I do this. I, yeah. I do one of those. There you go. I, I don't want to look like a poodle. <laughs> <laughs> do you like coming to New York? Wait, are we on? Oh yeah. yeah, yeah oh, is, oh, is this on? Before, is this let's introduce on? Fortune. Her new Netflix special is streaming now. Uh, Good Fortune on yes. Netflix. Fortune Feimster. Hey, hey, thanks for up? joining us. Good to have you. Are we Forge. drunk yet? I mean, I, we're working on it. <laughs> All right. we this is our whiskey tender. bodega Jamie, cat. We told up, you about. Girl? Oh yeah. Go get your own whiskey. Oh set. yeah, you better believe and it. And you're sister. a whiskey drinker. I love whiskey, whiskey bourbon, because I'm from the south. That's what we do. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It'll rise Most... again. No. <laughs> oh my god. Joking. I'm joking. You stop. <laughs> <laughs> this is sober, Mark. <laughs> I know, right? That'd be a good blue chew uh, tagline. <laughs> <laughs> It'll rise again. <laughs> uh, okay, blue chew is an erection pill. Oh, is it? <laughs> I wasn't right. yeah, you should have delivered familiar that one. Familiar with yeah. erection Sorry. Pills. I'm the one who's having problems. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah, this is uh we're doing oh jamie tell us what we're doing because we've yeah. never done this and our partner uh chris hart our whiskey partner yeah. yes has given us a lot of shit for never drinking one of these his favorite cocktail is a whiskey sour this is I'll, a spin yeah. on that yeah it's the new york sour so Ooh. what the difference is is that it has a float of dry red wine on top i've heard about the so it's All like right. the sweet we're, and the dry we're, we're classy Holy, I love it. Holy. Yeah, putting some red wine in that. All right. Yeah. I've never tried this. I'm nervous. This is Sounds exciting. not great. Uh, red <laughs> wine on whiskey? I, it's worth it. It's supposed right. to be good. I'll, I'll try Don't it. Don't knock it till you try it. I'm trying, but it sounds like a, something a real alcoholic would do. <laughs> Put these two together. <laughs> That's how most good drinks were created. That's true. You ran out of ingredients mm-hmm. and you just threw it in. You got to just figure true. it out. And that's your whiskey. What's it called? Bodega Cat Whiskey Bodega at bodegacatwhiskey.com, How's folks. It, is it flying off the it's shelf? It's flying. Mm. All right, guys. Killing it. Y'all are entrepreneurs. We're oh, trying, yeah. yeah. Oh, there it is. There it is. Yeah. We Bodega Cat. We got to get some reviews, Straight though. Rye. People got to start reviewing. Oh, yeah. yeah I like a review, there. Matt. I like my rye gay. <laughs> 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 is no, Old no, Fashioned no, your no, favorite gay cocktail? Rye. Uh, yeah, my Old Fashioned is my, probably my drink of choice. Nice. But I like a whiskey sour as well. You yes, know? you might be our first lesbian. Yeah, I think on the show. No. Like, really? <laughs> Who else? Really? Mark's like, uh, uh. damn, uh, you maybe you're right. As, maybe as a gay, all right. You know, yeah. it's like, how do you guys feel? I feel good. Feels good. All right. Yeah, good. No. I good feel, to have you. I feel good too. <laughs> <laughs> Your other special is Sweet and Salty on Netflix. Yeah. And you, had, and you did the half hour. Yep. Did, uh, and Man. this is this is the first one since Sweet and Salty. Yeah. Sweet and Salty came out January of 2020. Yeah. Not mm. much else happened that year. Yeah. Uh, That's a good time to have a special come out. <laughs> yeah. Well, at the time, it was like, felt like such a bummer. I was like, oh, I can't go tour. But then everyone was at home. Right. So it was nice because, not nice being home because of the pandemic, but that more people watched it, I think, because they were of course. chilling at home. Totally. Yeah. And you went to the Capitol. 
<laughs> oh my god! <laughs> I almost went, like, yeah. <laughs> you slot those in there oh, so yeah. effortlessly that I was almost like, yeah, I did. Wait, what? <laughs> That's a good gig. Who books that? <laughs> so yeah, this know. is the the follow up to Sweet and Salty. Nice. No fortune cookie. That's what I thought no. you were gonna go with fortune cookie. I went uh, uh, with good fortune. That's better. I couldn't think of a name, and I was like, well, I got this. It's hard. It's a lot you of know? pressure because you be want the there. pun, kind of yeah. right. I always kind of want the pun in there too, yeah. but yeah, I kept tossing around. We would send possible titles, and they were like, "No." Uh, so the, you know, because Netflix has to agree too. Do they really? Yeah, they have to. Oh, I didn't know that. Or at least yeah. <laughs> where I'm at, they oh, have to. Shit. They like well, to sign off. I mean, if I really love something, I think I could. Oh, thank you. I, I think if I really love something, you know. Thank you, Jamie. We could make it yeah, work. Yeah, yeah. Oh, thank you, Jamo. Cheers. Cheers. Hey, hey Mazel. All right. Hmm. Mm. It tastes like a like Ooh. a whiskey sangria. Yeah. Yeah. Kinda. It's kind of nice. Mm. Kind of nice. Very yeah, good. Yeah, that red wine is uh, what cuts it because it's like there's a sweetness in there from the simple syrup, and mm-hmm. obviously you got the sour, and then that's like. You I can, like that. Yeah, you can use like a Zim, but it's better to use dry wine. It takes a I second, but I'm I'm gr- it's growing on me. Yeah. Yeah. I think I got too much red wine. Me too. Look I got a lot, I'm I'm got a lot of red wine here. here. In the picture, well, that's the picture. You want more thing. of that straight whiskey? Well, you yeah. know, sometimes it, there's egg white used. Oh. oh. It cuts some of the red wine a little bit. I do like the it multicolor. Okay. Mm-hmm. When you add it like to the shaker, but, it's like but during a podcast, we don't we're not doing egg whites here. Yeah. A little more like, yeah. I see. Well, no, it's yeah, very, it's very good. it is red wine forward. Uh-huh. Yeah. Well, we could switch the next round. To, maybe we could do something else. We could. All right. Well. Oh, I don't think Sam likes it. I mean, it's good, but I just it's not my favorite whiskey. We have all these ingredients here. Yeah, it's right. good. Well, now Christopher Hart's gonna kill himself. <laughs> he Sorry, mentioned. Chris. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That means we're we're partners. Oh, do, you guys, do you guys drink? <laughs> you yeah. guys drink true. different things that people recommend. We'll take we'll take recommendations. Anything. Yeah. Yeah. We oh, love yeah. Rex. I'll we're open minded. I haven't had this before, so. Why not? Mm. Yeah, I know. I'm happy we're having it. I had an old fashioned before the show. Yeah, yeah. that's a mm-hmm. good drink. Yeah. yeah. You can also just do a regular one and not have the New York style. A regular whiskey sour? Yeah. Oh, that's just not no wine. A, without the wine. I yeah, can do just that. without the wine next time. All right. Oh, man, well, we'll get those ready to go because this is going down. <laughs> this might be a, too delicate of a drink for you two strong strapping guys. Yeah, I mean, this is a little I've never dainty. been called strong or strapping in my life, so I'll take it. I've the sweat strap on. <laughs> <laughs> this is a, this sweatshirt's fooling people. <laughs> Ironically, a Burt Kreischer sweatshirt is making me look better. Birdie boy. Uh, yeah. 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 Yeah, you look fit. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll take you it. You do. I'll take it, man. It's, it's a fitted hoodie. It is. That's it helps. Mm-hmm. It, I, I'm at the age now. I'm like, if if the clothes, if they just fit well, I don't need anything nice. I just yeah. want the fit. Same, go. same. I got short arms too, so I have a weird body. So I have to get everything tailored. You yeah. do. I never noticed your arms. They don't look short, but when you put a, a new jacket on, it, yeah. it's flopping off the end oh, okay. like a magnum. Yeah. You know, so. <laughs> Why are you delivering all your dick jokes to me? Or you oh, give them sorry. to me. I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm, I have yeah, the dick he really here. really wants me to get on board with these dick jokes. <laughs> are you a gold star gay? I'm a gold Woo! star, yeah. What does gold star gay mean? That means I've never slept with a dude. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> this guy. Yeah, that's a gold star lesbian. They've never... I've Never heard ne- of that. Never had oh, yeah. the wiener. Why is it called Gold Star? I don't know. Because yeah, you're, you're, you're a soldier in the army. Yeah. <laughs> <I don't know>. <laughs> <laughs> never. You're pure. That's why. Was it? Was there ever a moment where you were attracted to men or not at all? Um, I find men attractive for sure, yeah. but I've just never had that like vibe. You know, yeah. I I've, I think because I'm around guys a lot with comedy i have two older brothers so we immediately everyone has that kind of bro vibe yeah. like high five thing yeah uh that we just never it was never that thing you know i like that you're literally on a drinking podcast we're like yeah this <laughs> we're the reason she doesn't like men yeah <laughs> guys like us <laughs> but yeah. i make no that makes sense. no but it's not like i i'm not like one of those lesbians that's like oh guys gross yeah uh i like guys a lot but hey. we but like they're not thinking of me that way and i'm not thinking of them that way but i've 
do find men attractive for sure. Interesting. Really? Yeah. Wow. But the dick is that's where the rubber meets the road. Yeah. You know, because you know, then you're like, ah, I gotta play yeah. with that thing. I don't want. I don't want any part of that. The vagina is obje- objectively better looking than the penis. I think. Yeah. Yeah, I think yeah, so. Yeah, for sure. It just yeah. is. My friend growing up was like, I might be gay. And we're like, oh, all right, whatever, you know, go nuts. Uh-huh. And then literally. Yeah. <laughs> and then he said he kissed a guy and if he right when he felt the stubble he was like i'm not gay oh and that's, that's what got him okay. he's like I, it was I, just a... I commend him for trying yeah though. sure we were all behind him i mean not not literally but, uh... last last week we were practicing uh, up. we had a sex uh teacher come in who teaches mm-hmm. cunnilingus we did a bachelor party episode for mark uh oh, last funny. week and a woman who taught us cunnilingus on melons and joe yeah. derosa was watching mark and i lick the melons and he said you know the stubble it makes me it turns me on a little bit oh, oh wow. yeah it was a weird moment. Okay. It was weird. I forgot yeah. about that. Did you guys learn anything? We learned Joe's gay. <laughs> Jeez, I forgot all about that. I think I blocked that out. Yikes. Oh, uh, I learned that that melon was wet as hell when I was done with it. No. But that's uh, how you know women are nicer than men. Is yeah. they take uh, I know girls who've taken blowjob classes. Oh yeah, but you don't know. Do you know any guy who's taking a? We didn't know it existed. It was I. I kind of was thrown at at Peters, our producer here. I was yeah. like, what do we? What's a what a good bachelor party activity is? Yeah, you know, and that was that was one of them. Yeah, know? I think I I think it's great that you guys wanted to learn some skills. Yeah, yeah. I'm clueless down there. <laughs> yeah, you could teach a, a master class. I, I'm I'd sure. like to think I could. I yeah. Really? <laughs> Maybe. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you but, have the equipment. You have yeah. more experience with it. You know. So yeah, I've heard that sucking the clit is the move. Oh, but isn't that what she said? Or no? I thought maybe she did say that, but that's what Nikki. We should Razor not have. We should. <laughs> we should not have had a, an instructor come on while we were getting blackout drunk. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, that that's did not true. stick. Any of that stuff. I love the melon. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I yeah. guess. Yeah. That's maybe the closest. Well, you slice thing. it in half. It yeah. Works. yeah. There's a you know a valley and now there. every time you do that, you're like, it doesn't taste like melon. Yeah. It's so confusing. <laughs> oh no, it does not. And I hate cantaloupe. Yeah. So yeah, that was tough for me. Was licking it. <laughs> I'd rather lick a stranger's vagina than a cantaloupe. <laughs> Ugh, hate cantaloupe. <laughs> Sometimes licking a stranger's vagina could be very nice. That's yeah. true. I yeah. think ca- cantaloupe least favorite fruit than honeydew. Yeah. What What's about the you? difference between cantaloupe? Wait, one green, the one's orange, orange. One honeydew's oh, green. Oh yeah, you don't like cantaloupe. That's no. what you're doing it on. I the, hate it. The texture or the t- or I don't like the taste. Yeah. Honeydew Hun- is honeydew's good. You, oh. get a, you get a soft honeydew. That could be a fucking. That's a good melon. There they are, right like there. It's a waste of a melon. Wait till you're old. You'll like it for some reason. Oh really? Yeah. It just seems like an elderly food. That's true. There's what, that vagina. You, you're, you're pregnant. What are your cravings right now? Uh, fruit, definitely fruit. fruit. Oh. oh, you're pregnant? Congrats. Yeah. It's okay. She's drinking this. She's not the keeping father? it. <laughs> Who's the father? Who's the father? I think the stuff. <laughs> just find this way to Puerto Rican women. I didn't even sleep with him. I just gave him a hug. <laughs> just Stefano started a third podcast. Yeah. He did? Now to pay for it. Yeah. <laughs> but the honeydew, it, to, to me, honeydew has no flavor. It's, it's like a, if I get a, a fruit salad and it's cantaloupe and honeydew, I'm furious. Yeah, honeydew doesn't have a lot of flavor. <laughs> what are your, what are your like road snacks? Um, I mean, if it were up to me, it'd be all fatty stuff, you know, yeah. like Doritos and Snickers. Ooh. But my wife has laid the hammer down. It's Whoa. more like carrots and hummus. Oh, and come like, on, wife. Uh, cashews, things like that. That's like my rider, basically. Yeah. I do like chips and salsa. Oh, some, yeah. Some, That's fun. Some of that. Yeah. Never gets old. Love chips and salsa. Yeah. That's the problem with the rider, though. Everything you like. Like, I have beef jerky, because uh-huh. growing up, we never had beef jerky, because it was like six ninety nine for a bag of it. Yeah. So we never had it, so I put on my rider, and now I'm like, eh, jerky. And you, But you get tired of it? Yeah. I, th- I find that you have to switch up the rider. Yes. Otherwise, it's get, it gets old. So my agent wife. put <laughs> natural wine in my rider, so. Natural wine? Yeah, so I don't, because we drank it one night, she's like, this is great, this should be in your rider. And yeah. I was like, yeah, it should, I was drunk. And now every <laughs> club I get to, like, we have your natural wine. Oh, I'm like, no. sorry. Diva. Sorry about yeah. that. Damn. And then if I don't drink it, they're like, thanks. <laughs> yeah, a lot of times I'm not even hungry because you forget that right. that stuff's even going to be there. Yeah. And then the person's like, I looked everywhere for these 
type of cashews or whatever and you're like i'm not actually very hungry i'm so sorry <laughs> yeah it's true and my openers i try to use guys who are need a need a gig and they yeah. just pocket all my oh ridership. there you go that's the best when you do gigs and you get snacks out of it oh yeah we used to yeah. we used to take all amy's stuff oh schumer yeah. would have oh, a I sick rider it was stuff. good she yeah. had good, amy has good taste in scotch which is really? awesome. she'd have like lagavulin in there we'd be like wow. this is like high-end shit she's doing those big shows so that's some good uh, oh. treats back there yeah. it was just a spread of like fruit and meats and cheeses yeah. and all that shit and you know we were young comics we were eating mm. dollar pizza so <laughs> yeah. having like a Havarti was like whoa That's, shit yeah I'm what like about, uh, chips and salsa guys <laughs> yeah did you ever hear about I forgot what I think it was one of the Florida clubs, Eddie Griffin's demands, and yeah. then he gets the Air Force Ones. You've heard this, right? Uh-uh. He get he needs a new all white Air Force Ones for really? every show, and after wow. every set, he takes them and dumps them in an ice bucket so no one else can wear them. Oh my god! And then I, I guess the guy I talked to at the club who ran the club was like. Yeah, you know, so I, I told him, I was like, oh, we couldn't find a fourth pair, so I'll, oh. I'll, I'll go out and get it tomorrow. He's like, wait, they send you to get it? And he was like, yeah, and he's like, don't do not do it. You're, yeah. It's all good. And he's like, yeah, someone has to someone get that. Someone's got to get it. <laughs> that didn't occur to you that someone's day is ruined? Yeah. <laughs> when he was face-to-face with the person, he changed yeah. his mind. At that's least, like, horrible. nuts in a rider. It's yeah. like, that's fuel. Right. Maybe you didn't eat before. Sure, I have, like, basic shit, too, coffee. But the wine thing I get is douchey. I, 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 I well, might remove it. Well, natural wine, for sure. <laughs> it's douchey. <laughs> that's a bit douchey. Although, if you go to, like, Burlington or Portland, they're like, we have a special store. And uh, they're like, you know, but if, yeah, but if you're in, like, you know, Orlando, they're yeah. like, fuck you. <laughs> Rightfully. I, I deserve it. Yeah, they're like, all wine's natural. It's grapes. What the fuck? It's Florida. You were just, he was just in Orlando. That's like the toughest flight. I think that's the worst flight because yeah, of all yeah. the kids. Oh, right. It's all 97 yeah. year olds, you know, on dialysis and yeah. like, yeah. you know, a kid yeah. who's just screaming the whole time next to you. And yeah. they have the Disney ears on and they're running up and down the aisle. It was, it was brutal. Yeah. I stayed in the airport hotel cause I had a show the next day I had to leave for at like 6am and it was all Disneyland people yeah. coming in. I know. In my hotel, the walls were paper thin. I could hear the kids fighting over some game and I wanted mm-hmm. to be like. Let the kid, let the other kid play. Like I was, I wanted to chime in because I heard every every piece of dialogue. It's brutal. (laughs) Oh my god. What's your favorite cities to perform in? Uh, I love like Nashville, Dallas, Chicago. Oh yeah. Um, all the major cities. Yeah, well, I did like a, I had a great show in like Mobile, Alabama. Oh, really? I had never performed there. That crowd was incredible. Chattanooga. Oh, but it's yeah. like that really surprised me. Like the people were so pumped. Wichita, that was a cool show. Nice. I think places where entertainment isn't as frequent. I mean, they have stuff, sure. Uh, yeah. But like, uh, it's just, it's not like LA or New York where it's like every second. Jaded. Yeah, right. there's like entertainment. Every corner, someone's like, come into this show yeah. right now. Yes. And like, please, I don't. So, yeah, so it felt, it, it feels like a, more of a, a, a night out, I guess, you know, mm. for everybody. So they're like pumped. And oh, yeah. Plus, I started my tour like June of last summer. So people were just kind of coming back out of their houses and there was like the energy was like insane. Yeah. That was like the coolest getting back on the road. The best. It was like emotional. Yeah. It was crazy. I know. I never thought I'd feel that way touring. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) This is crazy. It felt like the audience liked comedy as much as we like it for the first time. (laughs) Yeah. Because I always feel like I'm bothering them because I barked. (laughs) You know? So when you bark, you just assume everyone hates stand up. Right. Because they don't want to come in, you know? Mm -hmm. But then they were like... Which club did you? I barked for the Village Lantern. Not even a club. I did that oh. one a few times, but I that was I was always I stayed away from there. It was almost too close to the cellar. Yeah, I wanted. Yeah. I was more uptown, you know. Right. I that that room. I took some of the worst bombs Ooh. of my life. Oh with. really? I mean, just yeah. humiliated. But you had to bark to get stage time. Yeah. 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 It but it was ugly. worth it. It was you know you weren't doing mics. It was it was kind of worth it. Yeah. At, yeah. The, at the time, but in LA you just had to bring friends to shows. They just had to pay for the shows and they'd let uh, you. Yeah. Time. They have that here too, but yeah. but the barking was it's such a like dense New York City thing. Like right. LA is too spread out for barking. Right. You know? Yeah, it's such a no New one's York walking. Thing. Yeah, <laughs> they're on their on cars the, like you, running you, you over. You have to go on the four hundred five and yeah. be like with like those cones. Mm-hmm. Go to this show because there's no one. Yeah, there's no foot traffic. Yeah, I I think it's something Mark says all the time on this podcast about how he thinks the best comedy clubs are uh, blue cities and red states because mm-hmm. you get the combination and. Uh, 
you know, in your special sweet and salty, like you talk about being a progressive and stuff. Mm-hmm. And, but you know, you're from North Carolina. Yeah. Do you think that's that combination makes you like you just understand the South in a way that? Yeah, I mean, you know, I'm from there. My whole family lives there. But you know, I'm gay, so yeah. and I live in what? Los Angeles. <laughs> I know Mark is crazy, but uh, so I have like a, this duality, you know, where it's like I. I still talk to, you know, a bunch of friends from home and have family there. So I get that mentality of what's happened, you know, what the South is, um, you know, red in certain areas and blue in certain areas. But, uh, you know, if my other extended family members have different political beliefs, I'm not like shutting it down. I, I don't agree with it but we're not like not family because right. suddenly we don't agree on politics they don't agree with my stuff i don't agree with theirs but we find common ground because we're family yeah uh, so yeah. you're an entertainer and you're good at that i mean that is like one of the great things about entertainment is like you know you become you do the road as a comic you mm-hmm. find ways to connect with people yeah no matter what yeah i mean you know i also don't do politics and stuff in my comedy because there are way more people that know what they're talking about Same. more than me you know so why am i going to bring that to the table mm. so i do the thing that i grew up seeing which was storytelling and that's a big part of the south was, i was always seeing a lot of people in my family and other like crazy neighbors telling stories you just listen to people talk forever yeah and i just kind of kind of picked that up i think so my stand-up ends up just being that uh huh. Yeah. yeah, and I feel like the South, much like New York, has a lot of characters. Oh like yeah, my yeah. uncle's a fucking nutbag. Yeah, people that you don't think are real people. You're yes, like, and you try to describe them, and you're like, I can't even yes, describe so you true. because it make it feels so bizarre yeah. that it seems like I'm making up a caricature of a person. I, I do that all the time on the road. I'll do like too many subway character <laughs> stories uh-huh. in a row, and I'm like, they're not gonna believe this shit's real, yeah. right. but they're real. They're real. They're real. Yeah. There are some crazy characters back home, and especially growing up. And but anytime I've ever tried to describe those people, people are like, "I don't know, I can't relate to this story." <laughs> and then I'm all like, "Had to be there." I think the people, like progressive people, who have uh, right wing parents, mm-hmm. are the most open minded people. Mm-hmm. I find because a lot of people who are super progressive, like anybody who's Republican. You're dead to me. Fuck you. And you're like, you're progressive. Mm-hmm. You're open minded. Like yeah. you're. That's not inclusive. Right. You know. So I think that's those. Well, they they literally had to accept people. Yes. Who, exactly. Who they disagree with. Yeah. You yeah, know, there's something about it. Like you know, you go on Twitter and shit, and people are so divisive. And then mm-hmm. we go out to our shows. And I know there are people that came to see us, but you're like, man, it's like people are cool. People are chill. Yeah. I'll even hang out with them after the show sometimes i was hanging out after the show in lexington kentucky over the weekend with some people who came out and they were mm-hmm. just really down to earth yeah, good yeah people. they're human beings no i know but it's well, like yeah once you get off the internet you yeah. connect, <laughs> can, but you can but, connect with people but a lot better spend, but people spend so much time on there yeah. yeah that i think they forget yeah that people are basically pretty good yeah. right and you know we went to the racetrack in Kentucky and it was fun. It was like oh, you know, little kid, Keeneland, all the little mm-hmm. kids in their blazers. Yeah. It's hilarious, you know. They're <laughs> the all ba- with the big it's, hats. It's like the fucking stock market in yeah. Kentucky. Yeah. Everyone's just yelling like, oh no, no, no. <laughs> you know. But it's the redneck uh, stock market. You're right. <laughs> that was my opener. I said, everyone, I'm the worst dressed person here. I'm the only one who didn't look a like a villain in Django Unchained. That was my. <laughs> but they they dress so well there. It's a cool scene. I mean, mm-hmm. Ken- Lexington, Kentucky's a great city yeah. to visit you know mm-hmm. it's, it's you know how they go uh like they always say like oh you're racist because you had never hung out with black you weren't exposed to black people it's the same with political if you're not exposed to other political affiliated yeah. people you're gonna just assume oh they're just like punching w- women who are trying to go into planned parenthood you know it, it's not all that it's yeah. it's a mix it's some that it's some but, that no. but i think everybody yeah. has like a little bit of differences but 86 percent of us are the same yeah. We all eat, we shit, we get horny, we want to get drunk, we have anxiety, <laughs> our parents are annoying. But then we focus on like, oh, you you believe in God? You're an idiot, you know, and it it, it's, it divides us. But we have so much more in common than we have different. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the 14% is like the extremes on both sides. Right. Which like Both can be pretty fucking annoying. Oh, God, yes. But uh, how good athletes are your older siblings? 
Uh, we all three of us played sports year round, so yeah. we were we were pretty sporty. I was not uh, a much of a swimmer. I was talking about that. No, I know that salty. bit. That's why I was. Thinking yeah, of but that. my middle brother was an amazing swimmer, like yeah. like Olympic bound at one point. Wow. Uh, my oldest brother was a really great tennis player and baseball player, soccer player. I played soccer, basketball, softball. Wow. Uh, I played tennis and soccer in college. Jesus. So I love sports, yeah. Holy moly. Tennis is probably my best sport, which is funny because I don't look like a tennis player at all. But I, it's. But you just, can play. I can play. I, when I moved to L.A., I played in a league with just like one other woman and all men. Yeah, yeah. Tennis. I loved it. If I was going to play pick up a sport, I'd want to pick up tennis. Yeah. It's, it's a classy game. It's classy. It is. You're out you can play there. forever, too. But two now people. everyone's in, into pickleball. I've not played that hey, yet. Everybody's talking what, about yeah, what, Can you pull it up? I don't even know what it looks like. I, I know LeBron it's just, like and a, Raymond Green just invested they in it. The people what? are obsessed yeah. with it. It's a wooden paddle, right? It's a right? smaller court. And it does. it's loud, though. It makes it like... Poof, 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 mm. sound. I don't even know what it looks like, honestly. Um, and, uh, yeah, the... I don't know what kind of... It's not a wiffle ball. I think it is a wiffle. Is it? It's a wiffle ball with a wooden paddle, I think. You, you but can't I escape wrong. Ryan Reynolds. Huh? Uh, he's you everywhere. What's, no. he, what's he promoting now? I think Aviator Gin. <laughs> no, he sold it. See, oh. it. see, it's smaller, the court. Weird. And it's got that hollow sound. Yeah, you can hear the pedal. Apparently, people have been... Uh, for old people building their own pickleball courts and their neighbors are getting pissed because it's so loud uh, it is loud yeah because tennis doesn't have the, you can hear tennis but not that same sound wow so it looks like it's kind of more of a um it's like net game yeah it's like ping pong yeah when it's standing on the table they had, I remember in college they had uh, racquetball in fun. one of the gyms, so I played a little. I was like, man, this is a really fun I get why people are into this. Big, yeah. I remember Wall Street. They all yeah. play racquetball or squash. They're all the very the close to each other. I know. This game, this is for I don't know. I think I want to stick with tennis. Yeah, this is for uh, disabled <laughs> this people. Is for this is pathetic. guys aren't old, are they? No. I, I see people <laughs> playing this at uh, my gym as me and a bunch of old people. <laughs> <laughs> uh, they all died once Cuomo you know, but uh, <laughs> it's all this is this is what they play because the ball takes so long to travel. It doesn't look like you can hit it as hard. No, it's that's what I. But see, that's what I love about tennis is the speed you can put yes, on the ball. Yes, that's I, a, an adult sport. I love it when guys serve like hundred and something miles oh, an hour. That's my favorite. Oh my I like God. the grunt because then you <sighs> hit it, you hit back on their speed, and then your ball flies right back at them. Yeah, it's pretty great. It just seems cool. Like Federer just seems so cool. Too. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I really enjoyed his, his farewell and the hand holding with Nadal. Yeah, it was oh, some really yeah. special. Nadal moments. is such a hot man. He is a hot man. I mean, like, <laughs> like really? Federer's good. Look, are you kidding? pull up Nadal? And, He's got like, the, the, bad, the bad hairline. Well, that's just happened recently. Oh, okay, but he what, used to have his a, arms, dude. You he used me? to have a big. Full head of hair and he it's might be thinning the, out. He's probably the best on the planet, I'd say. Whoa, Go. those arms! Look at That's that. what I mean, dude. But I love seeing Ooh. them get so emotional with each other with Federer retiring. They oh, were like yeah. held hands at one point, cried together. That's he gave Federer was, the hardest time. Oh, I know, he, but he, they were like besties in real yeah. life. Apparently, tennis I, is like a, the, the number one sport for me that like I don't seek out. But if I come across it on oh. TV, yeah. I'm glued to the TV. Yeah, well, look th at that. These Jesus. guys, these guys. Hit. I mean. Like you when you see it in person, this? it's so they're it all back. They hit so hard. Oh, yeah. oh look oh. at that! If that didn't make you too gay, I, I don't know, know what I'm will. There. I want those jeans off now. <laughs> yes. yes. I mean, that is a pretty erotic. He's been a picture. bad boy. <laughs> Jamie, what do you think? You're a heterosexual yeah, lady. Yeah, Jamie, what do you think? Uh, it's just trying too hard. I, I mean, that's, wow. a, that's a sexy photo. Though. Just like look at it. You know? It really is sexy. It I've is never a lot. seen that one before. Oh god. See that? Like, I can find I mean, him attractive. Look at that. Wow. I mean, look, he's got it. Why not? Go for it. Yeah, yeah. All right, I was wrong. All right. Well, Ooh, what a hunk. guess we're all gay now. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> you turned us. <laughs> I knew it would happen. This a couple of whiskey I knew this wines. Would... <laughs> uh, I was worried it was contagious. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, this I never a... knew he did underwear. Jesus Christ. Yes. Rooney. Dang. Hot tamale. Our, oh, and sh pulling it down in the back. A little it's... tease there. Ooh, wow. Okay. Butt pussy. <laughs> <laughs> Is he a uh, Spaniard? <laughs> he is from Spain. Yeah. Oh, nice. 
Wow. <laughs> I see one of them Spaniards. Oh, yeah. Look well, at the, that. the thing about Louisiana tennis. comes out. <laughs> see one of those Italians. Oh, you rule, Jamie. Oh, Thank you. Like, I'm, I'm coming up soon there, J Mo. Yeah. I'm still nur- I'm still nursing, man. Oh, mm. nursing, yeah. Nurse it up. I'm coming up soon if we keep looking at these photos right yeah. here. <laughs> Crazy. Any sport where it's one on one, I watch I I prefer. Yeah. The MMA, tennis. Because it's all on you. You know, in, yeah. in team sports, a lot of the time, the Boxing. best player just gets blamed anyway. Mm-hmm. Right. So there is something kind of cool about you being like, yeah, it was my fault. Exactly. Yeah. It was my fault. Yeah, I, I suck today. It's why improv isn't fun to watch. You know? I'm like, I don't want a team. I want to stand up. Give me one person up there fighting for their life. Yeah. But I do love, like... I mean, I, I'm such a big basketball fan. I do mm-hmm. love that they have to w- find ways to work together. No, that's, and, that's and you like the teamwork. Great. Who's I, your team? I'm a diehard Knicks fan. Knicks fan, yeah. Okay. Yeah. How about you? Oh, uh, I don't really follow basketball too much. I like the college sports. Mm-hmm. I mean, yeah. Carolina. What's your, who's uh, your Carolina team? UNC. Oh, nice. Uh-huh. Yeah. That's a nice team to root mm-hmm. for. Is that the baby blue? Yep. Yeah. yeah. Tar Heels. Aha, mm-hmm. uh-huh. Tar Heel. What yeah. the hell is a Tar Heel? Honestly, I don't. I it's don't probably know. not great. I don't know. Let's hope it's not a slur. Oh, I don't really know <laughs> what it is. All right. Uh, Nickname applied it to the says US. over there. Uh, a Rosen Hero, a Tar Heel, implied it, that they worked in a lowly. Hold on, go left. A lowly trade. Oh, so it's like a blue collar person. That. Um, oh, Carolina soldiers flipped the meaning of the term. I don't really know. Oh, all right. So they made it positive. That's the problem with the South. You're like, let's not look up the history. <laughs> yeah, let's not learn about this. I'll do it. Like, just I accept just, it. like I just like the basketball team, yeah. but I don't want to <laughs> dig too much into it. <laughs> Someone will eventually write a letter, and that'll go away. Oh no. I'm sure. Tar Heel was derogatory term in both race and class. Ah, it's coming. <laughs> but then the um, mascot is a what is like a, it? A guy in blackface, I think. <laughs> no, that's true, guys. <laughs> <laughs> hey, folks, when you want a smooth high that you know is made right here in the U.S. of A., look no further than Ounce of Hope, based out of Memphis, Tennessee. Ow. Ounce of Hope is your one-stop shop for Delta 8, Delta 9, and CBD edibles, oils, and more. I use this stuff every night literally to go to sleep. I love it. It's not too high. You don't want to go into some edible coma where you can't see straight. You don't know when you're going to die, and you're panicking anytime the phone rings. This stuff is just the right amount. It's just perfect. It helps me sleep better. Harnessing the power of aquaponics. Ounce of Hope is the farm-to-table brand for getting high. Aquaponics combines fish and plant farming, so all the nutrients released by the fish make an extremely healthy plant. Oh, you're getting high thanks to fish shit. Oh, Visit nice. ounceofhope.com and use drunk for 20% off your first order. That's O U N C E O F H O P E.com with promo code drunk and start saving on the best Delta 8 and Delta 9 products. Here it is. Get on it. God bless America and God bless sheath underwear. Let's show Mark. We're both wearing them right now. Look at that. Yeah, sheath underwear keeps your balls off your leg, which, I mean, I love that little pouch right there. Oh, yeah. The idea for sheath came from its founder, U.S. Army soldier Robert Patton during his second tour in Iraq. This guy is a fucking veteran, dude. Oh, yeah. It worked for him. It's going to work for you. I wear sheath underwear. And they're great. I wear them all. It's like my favorite. You have your favorite pairs in the drawer. Yep. I have a few crappy Swiss cheese undies, and then uh, I get my yeah. sheath ones that don't break down. They're good. Support the show. Support this awesome veteran-owned company. Mark, tell them how to do it. Go to sheathunderwear.com. Use promo code DRUNK to get 20% off your first order. Every order comes with sheath's 100% money-back guarantee. That's sheathunderwear.com. Promo code DRUNK. Get sheath underwear and let them support your balls. Uh, it's like a that thing. It's like a bull. Or is that a, a bull? A ram? ram. A ram? Oh, it's a ram. Ramses. 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 I never. I honestly did not know that. Ramses is kind of a cool name. All right. Yeah, Ramsey. Huh. Ramses. It's the ram mascot. All right. There what's you go. your What's your routine on the road? Because you're doing theaters and you're like you're like every every day you're probably going to a different city, right? Do you do yeah. the bus? Do you fly? What do you do? I'm not doing, I didn't do the bus thing because I have to go back to LA during the week because uh, the 
radio. Yeah, I do the radio show with Tom Papa, and then I I also do a lot of acting stuff so that's usually something i have to fly back for you on the mindy show yeah i did mindy show yeah. i just finished five months in toronto i filmed this action show with arnold schwarzenegger what's it gonna wow. be on yeah it's cool uh it's gonna be on netflix sometime next that's year that's huge yeah that's it's amazing really do you like the show fun. i loved it arnold. i never so you have a big role in it uh yeah i'm in i mean i'm in, in every episode wow. um i'm in the cia i'm like in the wow. field guys we got i'm doing action thing? stuff What's that? Did you get the ear thing? Yeah, we had the ear things oh. and the weapons. And, yeah. What? What's? I mean, get down. <laughs> get to the chopper. Three sets of the maid. <laughs> <laughs> what? Uh, that was a trip. Like yeah. shooting guns beside Arnold. That's insane. We're like we're like on army crawling across the floor, explosions everywhere. He hasn't I'm like, done something in a while. I feel like. No. Well, he's never done TV. Wow. This is his first TV show. But... TV is different though. Those guys of that era, they I think they get caught up. Yeah. Or at least mm. did for a period being like, I'm not doing TV. Well, they TV. were so, right. movies were so prestigious right. back then. And all his movies made like a bazillion dollars. Totally. So, yeah. So he, but he was like a kid in a candy store. He loved it every day. Wow. And, uh, he was the governor of California. Yeah. And, and uh, Mr. Universe. Mm -hmm. He's done so much. He's Meredith cool. Kennedy. We went to his house. Yeah. We went then to his blew, house and blew a it up. weeks ago. <laughs> yeah. Well, what's his house like? <laughs> oh, great. I mean, uh, awesome. It's all awesome. Wow. He's just so. Does he have a, does he have a crazy gym in the house? Uh, I didn't see his gym, but he has like a statue of you know, uh, of young uh, Arnold. Yeah, pumping iron. There's, he has some cool paintings of himself. <laughs> He's a legend, dude. It was cool. I held the Conan, the Barbarian Whoa. sword. That's yeah. a lesbian's dream. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yeah. Why are you? But he's he's like yeah he's like has so many cool stories like. He's friends with like everybody. Of course. Yeah. You're like, yeah, I need Who wouldn't want to be friends this. with Arnold? Yeah, he's been doing this for decades. Oh, yeah. So and he's it, a smart guy. Yeah. If you hear him speak, you're like, he's a very educated, yeah, cool Austrian. guy. Yeah. Yeah. They're smart. And, uh, with us. Thank yeah, you. so it was it was awesome doing that. Ooh, so, yeah. I'm, so then I'll go on the road and do, uh, I'll do like three or four nights and then come back and then go back out. I'm finishing up my tour right now. Uh, here in the Northeast, so I'm driving everywhere. Are you enjoying the last few shows? You're like, I can do these older yeah, jokes. Yeah, I'm enjoying working <laughs> this material until my special comes out, <laughs> and then you know now I've got to write a whole new act. I, I mean, that, that's where I'm at. It's, it's yeah, that's where you're high at? stress. I mean, that's why I'm doing these like weird yeah. kind of smaller cities, just because I'm like, let me try to build here in yeah. smaller clubs. You guys seem and to write a lot. Like you guys seem to always be pumping out material. Trying. Yeah? I trying. love it. I mean, I love it. I mean, it's yeah. really like Mark and I. Have been bouncing bits since we were like open micers almost yeah. I mean, y'all like, always talk to each other about yeah bits and stuff? that's yeah. nice we would always be like hey has this been done or is this fun you know it's like stuff yeah. like just to have a friend to be like is this horrible tell mm -hmm. me if this is horrible right uh but then you kind of yeah i mean i'm more confident now i don't feel like i have to do that as often but we yeah. still do it i still oh, yeah. i'll still text you that's still nice. text yeah. you with an idea yeah i'll run stuff song. by uh, some friends who are your co who are your comic friends uh are? i i talk a lot with aaron foley mm. you know oh aaron i like aaron foley? yeah yeah she's, she's really funny. good at like i'll i'll we'll zoom and i'll tell her like a a story that i'm thinking about and she'll kind of like you know say like oh that's it. you know there's something there right. or like maybe ex you know expand on that more or if neither one of us are really like responding to it we're like no well, maybe we'll just put that back that in the friend, notes. just even having a friend to like let you go yeah yes you mm -hmm. know and let you talk it, talk out, it out i do with stavros a lot you yeah. know or like uh our friend ron on hirschberg as well but like mm -hmm. just have a friend to let you talk it out yeah yeah you find nice. you find you find the bit yeah. yeah, sometimes I'll ask Tom, Tom Papa. Uh, you know, he's killer. a good writer. We love him. I'm yeah. Like, is there anything to this premise or whatever? He's got a great yeah. laugh too. Uh -huh. yes. When you make him laugh, yeah. you feel good. Both of you have a good. You're you both, both very yeah. positive and yeah. Your show is fun to do because you're both easy. It's yeah, like, we're just like want to talk to people about comedy. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and then you do Jim and Sam, and they're like, you fucking homo. <laughs> <laughs> it's eight in the morning. <laughs> we can say that to you too if you want. <laughs> <laughs> yeah right <laughs> what uh who are your comics growing up they were like that's those are the people that got me in the stand-up 
I think I was more of an SNL gal. Mm, interesting. Yeah, because I actually started at the Groundlings oh. uh, in LA. I started in sketch and improv. Wow. Those people. Oh, hey, hey, I did improv <laughs> as well. Yeah, little, little uh, so, yeah, so I started more in the sillier yeah. version of comedy, like crazy characters. I still have like so many characters that no one's ever seen. Oh. Because I never put them online or anything. I did them at the Groundlings and it was like pre, it was like YouTube was just kind of right. becoming a thing and can we get a can you hum a few bars can we, can we, get, a, can we get the well, wacky well, neighbor no, I mean it's always like some I, I like to play like older women uh -huh. who are like you know have short spiky hair or oh, something yeah. very sparkly outfit. and you would dress up I would dress oh, up that's Lo wow. I like lots of makeup I like just being a someone totally different than sure, myself sure I would play like a lounge singer who's <laughs> like talking about her signature cocktail yeah and, you know just like crazy Crazy people. I played crazy people. That's fun. Very big, broad characters. So, uh, yeah. So that's where I started. So SNL was always the thing I watched every weekend. Mm. Who, who are your favorites on SNL? Yeah, I mean, I class? was well. The first class was the Sandler, oh, yeah. Farley, the best, Spade yeah. days, yes. uh, Molly. Rock. You know, then yeah, yeah. Then it went into Molly Shannon. Oh, I love Molly uh, Shannon. Sherry yeah, O'Terry, Will oh, Ferrell, yeah. that crew. They were they were the most influential. Yeah. Because that was when I was younger and really watching the show a lot mm -hmm. more. Yeah, yeah. Um, so Molly yeah. Shannon is so insanely funny. Oh, so funny. Killer. And so a great, funny. serious actor. Yeah. yeah. The movie where she mm -hmm. uh, had cancer. Yeah. You know, oh, I forgot the name of it, but Chris Kelly um, wrote it from Yeah. Um, it up. The, uh, um, she should have gotten an Oscar for it. She's incredible. Yeah, she's really good. Have you uh, heard the rumor about her? What? You've heard, huh? What is it? She banged a guy and the sex was so passionate that he had a heart attack. <laughs> For real? Yeah, that's like a, one of those uh, Hollywood uh, stories. No. I don't uh, buy it. Pull it up. Is it in her book? Well, probably. Her book was very popular. Yeah, I read a I read an interview with her in the LA Times and it was tragic. Her life story. Oh, yeah. Was, yeah. Was yeah. Really Our tragic. accident. Something like her. I wrote her. I wrote her a fan letter as a child uh -huh. when she was on SNL, and she wrote back. I still have the autographed oh, wow, picture. Oh wow, that's her. cool. Yeah, I wrote Robin Williams when I was a kid. Whoa, and got a letter. I found that letter when I was what? home. What he wrote back? He wrote back. Wow. Yeah, I got like a signed picture. Did you ever meet him later in life? I met him very briefly. I was doing like a show at the uh, Meltdown Comics place. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay well, all yeah. right. All right. It's, it's been disproven. Enough to I'm be. glad we. Have there a fact checker though. There was, I guess the rumor was two men. Oh, all right. I didn't know that. Fuck two men to death. There you go. That was so funny. Oh, it was a plot of Curve. That's where I heard it. Oh, okay. <laughs> I thought it was real. I like how that stuff catches on though. Oh, yeah. That's how the oh. Richard Gere gerbil. <laughs> that's that true. That's Look true. it up. <laughs> yeah. Um, but uh, I forgot what you asked. Oh. I don't even know. <laughs> oh, Molly Shannon. About Robin Williams. Robin oh, Williams yeah. letter. Yeah, that was. Oh, I met him at Meltdown Comics. Oh yeah, uh, that he was, was a hot show. He just like showed up and was like watching in the back of the room, and I like was leaving and I saw him. Uh, he had left the room and he was kind of he was very shy and yeah. I was just like I just want to say I'm a big fan he's like thank you that was very funny like, wow. he, like wow. head down kind of thing oh, yeah oh, that was fortune <laughs> very funny oh. <laughs> definitely <laughs> wasn't on I mean that was probably like eight months before he died a year ah oh, you did it and then I met <laughs> you pushed his, him over the edge I did it I met his daughter um uh, like a year and a half ago really lovely two years ago something like that yeah yeah damn but yeah i loved him i didn't watch a ton of stand-up i mm. watched like him and Whoopi goldberg ellen people like that yeah. so those those big have you met mm, ellen uh just from like across the room oh really yeah but we've never met it was one of those like hi hi kind of oh, things yeah. new damn. orleans she's from new that's orleans that's right yeah she never uh, reps us, but just just to, that's, <laughs> she, that's weird. She don't want to talk about it's weird, just, it's weird to just get a wave from a person that famous. I, that's how I met Larry David, just a wave. Oh yeah. You no, know, he was he was like where where Matt is, about uh -huh. that far away, and Amy Schumer went, "Hey, this is Mark, Larry," and he went, "Yeah." And I, went, <laughs> and he goes, I want to like hug him and kiss him on the lips, but you got to play it cool. <laughs> well, it was right when things were like opening back up in L.A. after the pandemic, so people were kind of not coming right. near each other. Oh. And we were out 
outside on a patio of a restaurant and and I really I noticed my wife was like kind of staring at somebody and I'm like who is she staring at and I, <laughs> I look behind me and it's Ellen is wow. sitting down and I we make eye contact and she's like hi <laughs> she's like I'm a fan Whoa. I was like, oh wow you left wow. that you left yeah, that part I out mean, that's I, a big well, part yeah that was nice and I was like oh thank you me, t- me too you know and <laughs> wow. we just had that kind of like oh then okay. she dumped hot coffee on this. <laughs> Assistant's head as she was walking away, and that was yeah, that was yeah. them. Yeah, if I yeah. caught my wife looking at Ellen, I would start looking at Portia. <laughs> yeah. Are they still together? Yeah. Oh, yeah. that's right. a, that's an impressive. That's been a long time. I th- yeah, like that's, how many years is yeah, that? At least yeah. fifteen. Eighteen or twenty. Yeah, good for them. Yeah. yeah, even stuck through the you know the bad times for Ellen when she was wow. Getting- Everyone, you know. you're fan, now they're trying to drag Bill Murray. That's the new one. I know. You see it on Twitter. Everyone's oh, like, right, they're yeah. like, Bill Murray's inappropriate. I'm like, so now people are getting canceled for being mean? I, uh, oh, yeah. It's Hollywood. You can't what be mean, you, baby. I know. That's a, the that's a point of getting to be a celebrity. You can it's, be a yeah. be I've read a lot of old yeah. Hollywood books, and I'm like, some of these people, I'm like, oh, holy Mark, shit, Mark's they're like, lucky. They're, Dennis Hopper is lucky he's dead. Sinatra, all these guys. Mark's <laughs> like, I can't wait to be mean. Yeah, you got to be nice coming up, and then once you get there, it's like, hey, get like, my I don't coffee. need friends Oh, yeah, now? Sinatra was like a manic depressive who was yeah. like awful to people. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. Oh, my God. Well, he said to Bob Evans, you know, he's like, get my wife out of that movie or I'll kick your ass, and he called her, and he's like, like, if you do that movie, we're getting divorced. And she's like, I'm doing the movie. And he sent divorce papers to the to the set. Oh, Rosemary's wow. Baby. Oh, yeah. And that. by the way, he was 60 and she was 21. Oh, uh-huh. wow. Uh, problematic. Maybe you should date someone not 39 years younger than <laughs> right. you. And you Pro- won't have these problems. He's like, oh, uh, a woman my age would listen. <laughs> <laughs> but like, dude, I mean, Mia Farrow, can you, can you get more opposite than... Sinatra. I know. Yeah, that I think about that all the time. And then who's yeah. the other guy she was with? The famous uh, uh, conductor, right? Oh, um... Philip Glass. <laughs> I know. Who I is it? I don't know. Uh, I conductor. mean, like, she does not have a type. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, yeah for yeah, sure. It definitely varies. Uh-oh. Mia Farrow. Spouses. Andre, Andre Previn. Previn. Yeah, there we go. Oh, wow. She doesn't have a type. That's my point. Oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> that, kind of well, that was him back in the day to the right. Oh, okay, okay. He looks but... like if you mush Sinatra and Woody Allen together, you get him. <laughs> Adrian does not look fun. No, <laughs> no. no. Adrian is bad. It's, oh, it's better man. for some than others. Man, uh-huh. it's uh, uh, that stopped the whole pod in its tracks. Uh-huh. <laughs> oh, there he is. He's kind of We're all pondering there. life no, he's a now. Guy. Yeah. He's a handsome younger guy. She doesn't look great there either. She looks a little late. Well, that haircut's not the That's best. Not, it's no, not, it doesn't suit her. A little page boy. But... But she, uh, no, she was beautiful. Yeah. And there you go. Day. Um, wow. I got to ask you about the, the gambling stuff. Is that real? Ooh. The gambling stuff? The parents? Ooh. You said your parents were gamblers in one of your books. Oh, I said um, I had someone in my family, not my parents. Oh, okay. Were, yeah. They were, uh, had gambling a situation and my uh, grandmother paid off a lot of those debts. Wow. So that didn't help my family's financial situation it was like a wow. like because my great my grandfather was a prominent uh contractor he designed a bunch of houses and schools and churches in north carolina and had and built them he had a company so he did really well for himself um but he died unexpectedly when my mom was 17 and my grandmother was just like a housewife and she's like i don't know what to do yeah so he left um uh, a hardware company this was like pre lowe's and home depot mm-hmm. and she it eventually then those big stores came in they were going under but she was too proud to file bankruptcy it was just a series of bad yeah. Yeah. business things where so eventually all the money he had left her was totally gone ah. so when i came when i came through my family had that like history of having money but no money <laughs> and my dad was like from a trailer park and oh, wow. ha- never had a dime wow. like hitchhiked to school Whoa. never had a birthday cake a whole different wow. situation yeah. so i i come from this duet like this weird duality mm. of like my mom's from like high society but no money right uh, but she had it back in the day and my dad's to- totally from a trailer park and you know, Damn. eating chicken wings and, <laughs> you know, watching NASCAR. So, yeah, I have this whole weird 
dual thing. Yeah. You have so much to pull from. I mean, there's so much stuff in your stand up that I'm like, I it felt so like it feels so real. You yeah, know? all the stories are are real. Yeah. It's all based it's all based on totally true things. I just embellish everything. Sure. Got to. Got to embellish for the performers, comedy. Yeah, right? we're entertained. I mean, yeah. Show, but. Yeah, like there's a story in my new um special where I talk about proposing to my now wife and like the guy that was part of the um the the waiter in the story he's like that stuff happened ish but i he's like two people combined yeah, i took traits to from like another person yeah. you know what i mean and so yeah uh, you know if some sometimes people, we'll say you made that bit up i'm like i combined two characters and it's different yeah sometimes right. you just have to save time it's editing yeah you have to edit up, edit for right? the story yes. to make it more interesting yeah. and moving along you're not telling like a bio i'm not telling a biography <laughs> right, right but all the stories are true it's just you're pulling from different parts of life yeah i don't even mind making up because then it also shows some creativity yeah, yeah you, you, you get it's fiction yeah you or know? you know if somebody unless the laugh is like it's true. This happened. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Unless yeah. you're doing that. But yeah, right. I mean, of course, people make shit up. Yeah. yeah. Or you like. But as yeah. long as there's some truth in there. As long For as sure. Some part of the story is 100% always going to be Everything true. I tell is based on something that happened. Yeah. But it's like, how can I make the? How can I? Because some of my stories are like eight minutes, 10 minutes. You're like, how can I get people to sit there yeah, and listen to that for eight minutes you gotta make it more no it's, yeah. it's impressive because i'm not mark and i aren't really storytellers like I'll, I'll mark is just pure bits the yeah whole hour. you have some stories no i do i usually mm-hmm. will close each hour on a story yeah I, I just for rhythmically it's my i think my structure will get predictable if i don't mix it up somehow right. Right. and also i usually have one story i don't know where else to put it except the end i think right. it's kind of yeah. an interesting way to yeah. end it but uh True. but i'll be watching your story sometimes and i'm like I'm kind of like, you know, I'm watching because I'm like enjoying it, but I'm also watching like, how the fuck is she going to end this? Yeah. Because that's oh, the that's hardest cool. part of the story for me. That's, yeah. a, that's a compliment. Well, it really, no, it really yeah. is. And uh, sometimes you watch a story and you're like, I don't, I don't know how it's going to end. And, uh-huh. and the ending is so hard. Yeah. But oh, yeah. Do you usually, when you write a bit, do you have the ending, you know the ending? Mm-hmm. Or are there times when you're going along and you're like, I got to figure out something? Yeah, I, I try. I, on Sweet and Salty and Good Fortune, I try to make both like beginning, middle, and end like a narrative. Like we're going to follow a, a timeline. Uh-huh. Uh, but I worked really hard to try to find what can I pull from the beginning and bring back at the end. Ah, the Wheel they of don't, Fortune. That they don't see coming. <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> uh, so that I don't ever know. It takes a while to find that. Uh, right. whatever that thing is that brings it back around that's tough um, but i never you know i only go into every story with like a sentence like oh like, that's crazy like uh i you know proposed to my wife and it went wrong right well what happened let me think about it you know well, that ropes you right in yeah because yeah. i want to hear what happened yeah exactly. so it so everything is like yeah the stuff i'm trying to work on now i'm like okay i have like a an idea of what could be an interesting premise, maybe, mm-hmm. but I don't know what the story is yet, you know? Oh, I don't so. envy you guys, because this is a tough... You just put out a special, yeah. both of you, and I'm in that sweet spot where I got... Yeah. My hour is really cooking. It's like oh, 90% great. done, so everything I add is just is just lanyap. That's just extra. awesome. Well, that's creating the best place, is fun, yeah. but editing is tough, and I'm in that point right now where like I'll have 50 minutes that's brand new, mm-hmm. and I'm like, I got 50. It's not all working, but I got 50 to play with. Yeah. That turns into 37 very quickly. Uh-huh. Then yes. I get back up to 45. Yeah. Then I'm down to 32. <laughs> yeah. uh-huh. It's this yeah. weird dance where I just keep cutting shit. But that's a good comic. Yeah. It's very yeah, because st- a lot of people would just stick with their stuff even exactly. if it wasn't working. Yeah. Well, then you kind of cut the stuff, and you're like, well, here, this isn't a Word document. And I guess that'll either be later in this hour yeah. or mm. it'll be for the next one. Because I, I yeah. kind of get rid of stuff if it, I can't crack it. Yeah. I get, really? Well, I'll revisit it in like a month and a half uh-huh. with yeah. fresh eyes. But yeah. I mean, when you have a story, it's so much. I'm just interested because mm-hmm. it is, it's just different than us. So I, I, yeah. I watch story comics like, you know, someone like you or like. I remember Ari Shafir gave me really good advice once with a story where he said, you know... Uh, End it with Kobe. <laughs> <laughs> he, I thought it was interesting advice. He said, uh, add a line in here uh-huh. and then go back to that line at the end. Oh. Like, add something so it almost gives you an out if you can't crack it. Oh, interesting. Like, yeah. don't force a callback, but he's like, there's a way you can add something here. Yeah. You know, like, my mom said this, uh-huh. you know, to That's me. That's good. And, and then at the end you go... 
well, my mom didn't think, you know, something like that. Right, almost right. like you almost yeah. go back to the line that you add yeah. if you can't crack it. And that's I thought that was good. like yeah, someone who only tells stories like Ari. Is, yeah. That's interesting. That's good. Yeah. Huh. I heard some advice was uh, the, you're telling a story and maybe you're not mentioning something the whole time, but the audience is kind of thinking it. Uh huh. And then if you say that thing at the end, they're like, oh, he knows that we were thinking. they kind right. of. They kind of give you a big pop for that. Uh-huh. Like I have this whole joke about going to see a, a see a slave movie with my black friend, and it was super <laughs> awkward. And at the end, I go, I don't, I shouldn't give away my my joke, but at the end, I go, and that's how I made slavery about me. Right, no, and it's it a great kills joke. I've because seen that, yeah. they're like, oh, we kind of thought that throughout oh, the whole thing. Yeah. Like you're making this. Like, you're the victim. Right, right. And then at the end, I say that, and they're like, all right. Yeah. He's aware you're, that he's you're a not, psycho. You're, you're self-aware. Yeah. Self-aware yeah. Is, is points. It's yeah, points. It's true, yeah. yeah. You know, when you go, that joke bomb, that gets yeah. a huge laugh, because they're like, oh, he knows it bomb. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, I'd rather them at least know I'm not doing, I know I, I'm not doing well. <laughs> right. I'll do that sometimes when I'm bombing. I'm, <laughs> yeah. I'm like, I know this is going badly, and they're like, all right, at least he knows. Yes, yeah, yeah, exactly. At least yeah. he's not bad and delusional. You take some of the, like, pressure off right. them. Like, they're like, okay, we're all, we're all on the same page now. Which is the essence yeah. of comedy, of you're basically saying like uh, I'm aware of what's going on yeah. here. I'm, I know what you're thinking. Yeah. Well, if I'm following the same uh, sort of timeline that I've been doing with the last few specials, the first one was very much about me like finding myself, figuring out who I was. The second one was like, now I'm an adult. This is how I am as an adult. It's mm. not necessarily what you would think. And I'm married. I'm getting you know engaged, married. So now full-fledged adult and this is what it is so now i if i'm going from that then whatever's next would be like what is the next thing right. that i'm dealing with as in you know I'm seven years into a relationship mm. two years married uh and kind of digging into that material that's good and then the, the audience grows with you yeah so it's like an ev- so every special a mini evolution right i don't know bargazzi's similar yeah he does that i'm doing the thing yeah. where i'm aggressing fully <laughs> <laughs> and each special i'm getting slightly worse yeah well that's a journey too. and they're watching me spiral and it's fun yeah. well i think uh, that this one i want to bring more of my mom and my wife into stories together uh-huh. yeah. does, does your mom like your wife she does but it was at first like f- that feeling of probably feeling replaced a little bit <laughs> wow yeah that, like oh my God. i know men through. have that you should meet my mom <laughs> yeah. i'm about to say men experience that yeah more so i think than women yeah. but my parents split when i was 12 mm. so i like weirdly sort of took on this like husband role uh-huh. uh for my mom i was like she was like my plus uh-huh. one kind of person oh, interesting. like i oftentimes like when i got older i would come home for christmas and my brothers were married with kids and i'd be the single one Mm -hmm. so i was like my mom's companion the like dinner partner the we went on a cruise together wow yeah like a five-day christmas cruise together i mean how was i wanted to jump off that boat yeah (laughs) every day i wonder how many people have just purposely commit suicide i don't because they were with someone they couldn't we talked to the chaplain and a lot of people (laughs) die on cruises yeah a lot of old people like like, yeah. like not yeah they're not jumping off oh, the boat okay. but like they're just old and they die yeah, yeah. You gotta he, die somewhere. so he's like yeah. constantly giving like last I heard Robert Riley just died on a boat <laughs> <laughs> four people will get that <laughs> <laughs> google it yes <laughs> so yeah I think I want to dig in so when I met my wife I think my mom knew right away it was a significant person so she was, uh, it took her a while to warm up to her. Like she was no longer, I like now, now at a new plus one. Yeah. Jax is the one that I'm going to be traveling with and taking the things. So sometimes I'd fly my Does mom Does she come out. every week? What's that? To Does shows? She... Yeah, yeah. Not everyone, but like one weekend on, one off, like that kind of thing. That's, but, that's a nice balance. Yeah. But my, my mom, like, she's always like, I want to go to Europe. Nah. I'm like, no, you, you can't. No, thank you. Um, so it's, so I think there's got to be some stories in there about. That's great. And at navigating that, those relationships. Yeah. My lady... I don't know what those stories are yet. <laughs> <laughs> They'll come. I used my... to have a bit about how my mom would always say, like, you know, I'd be dating girls. My mom would be like, I don't like her. And I'm like, yeah, of course not. She's you. <laughs> That's why I don't like her. And then my dad would always go, I think she's great. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah there's no threat there. <laughs> yeah. My gal always says that uh, every guy she's dated, when it's, whenever she meets the mom, there's tension. Yeah. It's just 
it's instinct or it's yeah innate. well because normally you do find that with uh yeah with men uh, introducing their mom to the new girlfriend it's it's not as common with women but sure um yeah that's lucky me yeah <laughs> i think the heterosexual women get the dad who's like get away from my daughter yeah exactly more. yeah but you but you seem close with your mom though mm-hmm. so very yeah. close yeah, so I just, I, my mom's provided a lot of material over the years, so I feel like there's got to be fun. For the Hooters things. story. Yeah, yeah. That, <laughs> that, that was totally true, too. Yeah. Um, but yeah, just kind of navigating the two of them, you know, the two strong women in my life has been a, a, a journey. Yeah. How did you meet your wife? Uh, at Chicago Pride. Oh, yeah. wow. Look at that. Yeah. I never thought you could meet a significant other in a pride event, you know, where everyone's hammered. <laughs> but we, yeah, ran into each other and kept running into each other all night. Just kept, you know, somehow ending up in the same space. And, wow. And yeah. scissoring. Then <laughs> scissored. That could be your third special title. Hey. You keep growing. Then yeah. We, then scissors. we scissored. That's not real, is it? It's not really okay. a big thing. I didn't think no, that's so. Like a, that's like porn for men, I feel yeah, like. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's more fun for guys to think about two girls just, you know. Just rubbing. Yeah, it's ru- a very rubbing. male thought. But it doesn't. Do we don't it. like get women with strap-ons because then we're like, "Ah, we're being replaced." Yeah, yes. exactly. You don't like that. Yeah. Exactly. But, but yeah, people are not really rubbing like yeah, that as yeah. much. Yeah, yeah. And then every girl I know, she's like, "I watch lesbian porn over man woman." I've heard that too. Yeah, every yeah. woman. I think it's a you know because they balls know what they're doing. Gross. Yeah, maybe that's <laughs> balls are gross. <laughs> yeah, I've heard a lot of a lot of my straight lady friends like the lesbian porn. Yeah, really. Yeah, that's fascinating. I don't know. Jeez. Do yeah. women like men? I have no. Do women like men? <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah, <it's> debatable. <laughs> Are we calling that epi- this episode "Do Women Like Men"? I don't know. It's debatable. Yeah, what do you guys bring to the table? <laughs> you go on TikTok, it's just like men are the worst, whatever. So you're like, maybe they don't like. Me. <laughs> and then they're also like, when are you gonna ask me to marry you? And I'm like, wait. So do you hate me or do you want to be with me? Which one is it? So these drinks are going down smooth. Oh yeah, yeah. I'm feeling this. This is great. Pregnant waiter. This is a new thing. I know. Or a bartender. Pregnant waiter. <laughs> that's uh did you like the that other one better i do honestly oh, yeah. i prefer the i prefer the whiskey sour yeah. sorry hart. sorry chris hart sorry chris you, you bought me a it sweet ribeye though it so. did look nice it yeah like where it, been, but... mm-hmm. it looked it looked classy as hell but i like my yeah. wine and my uh and my whiskey separate yeah, yeah i think so yeah I don't know. exactly that's what we learned today we're not yeah. by no <laughs> No, we tried. We tried it. As long as you try. Open minded. Um, oh, give me a. Does anyone have a wreck? Anyone? Either of you? I got a wreck. Yeah. What do you got? Well, uh, I try not to do movies because I feel like I do movies. We all do the time. so many movies. Oh, yeah. We watch a but, lot of movies. Yeah. This movie really just tickled the taint, <laughs> and it's a horror slasher movie, which is Whoa. not my favorite. Uh-huh. Okay. But it's so well done. Scorsese's raving about this guy. Spielberg loves this guy. He's like a new guy on the scene. The movie's called X. X. Pull it up. It's called X. Like Pull it up. EX or just, just X? X the letter. Oh, I've and not heard of this. It's, uh, Peters has seen it. It's, it's. You a, like it, Matt? <laughs> oh, you haven't? Oh, okay. It's a throwback yeah, to like, sla- like a A24. A24. They make some interesting They're stuff. They're so good. So wait, good. Wait, go to Rotten Tomatoes. What are we looking at? Ooh, Critics and audience. I'm nervous. It kind of shakes 94, up the genre. 94%, oh, 94%, right? Look at that. That's. There you go. Audience score seventy five percent. I'm shocked the audience was. Sometimes not the audience gets it wrong too, though. Mm-hmm. But yeah, it's really good. It, it you can't predict it. It's different, but it's you think you know it, but you don't know it. It's one of those. Yeah. You watch it with the lady or in theaters? Or what I watched doing? it on the row with a comic in a hotel room. I was like, let's not get hammered tonight for one night. And we watched a movie, <laughs> and we had a couple white claws. <laughs> white claws. But Adult. it was it was really Kid good. Kid Cuddy's in it. Kid Cuddy kills it. Kid Cuddy. And it's a hell of a premise. I don't want to give anything away. Oh, right. Maybe I'll watch this. I got a, I got a movie wreck, too. It's an old one, though. Hmm. But it's a great... I revisited it. It's a fucking masterpiece. It's an old movie. It's a Robert Altman movie. It's called Nashville, if you haven't seen it. It's, oh, I've it's, not seen it, but obviously I know It's a musical. Uh, it's... It's a brilliant movie. You feel better. Yeah, thank you. It's it really is. Keith Carradine won the Oscar for best oh, song. Oh really? For best song. I've this never w- seen Lily it. Lily Tomlin was nominated for it. Oh man. Uh, 
It's a great fucking movie. Altman's a genius. The, I was I couldn't stop listening to music on the road this weekend. Really? And I don't know what it's something about being in the South. I'll just start listening to country music. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> but it's great music and uh, damn, it's like it Altman. It's was like cool. it's like they sing country music in yeah, it. Yeah, but it's, it's it tells a story. It's incredible. Altman wow. really was a genius. Yeah. Oh uh, yeah. I mean, the player is one of my favorite movies too. Yes. But Nash, uh, I got to rewatch this. Nashville is. Uh, my friend Ronan Hirschberg's number one movie of all time. What? Wow! He thinks okay. I think it's I think it's one of the best. Shall I feel like there's a lot of movies I need to see. Karen Black was great back in the day. Uh, Five Easy Pieces. Good. Karen Black. Yes, yes. Wow. All right. I'll I'll, I'll right. rewatch. I recommend so Nashville. Recommend. But going in, it is a musical, mm-hmm. and it takes Altman movies take a minute. Yes, so, yes. But so you gotta let it settle in. Let it settle. Okay. It's not. It's the same for your TikTok. Where generation. you watch it online? It's not. Yeah, you can just rent it okay. on Amazon. It might oh. be streaming too. Oh, they have a high, uh, an eighty four percent audience yeah. score. It's a classic. Okay, it's a classic. Shelly Duvall. Shelly Duvall. She's yeah. they. She disappeared forever, and they just found her again. Oh, really? Yeah, she yeah. like went out to the desert or something. What? Yeah, I can never tell if these people are happy she if they fell lost on, it. I think she <laughs> fell on hard times. Yeah, uh, probably. But man, Dr. if you Phyllis look at her resume, she was in so many. The Shining, things. Annie Hall, Popeye. Yeah. Yeah. She was olive oil, yeah. for Christ's sake. Olive oil. Wow, okay, all right, Roxanne, Nashville. I'll wow. check it. Roxanne, I used to love that movie. Uh, yeah, that was good. Yeah, no, she was uh, I haven't was watched great. any movies. Really? I don't it's have any now. good recommendations other than I went to that, a lot of people would know this place, but uh, I had a sandwich at Pop Belly again. Ah, that Pop place is right. so good. <laughs> it's not bad. I don't know why that came to me. As far as the sandwich chains, yeah. I think it's actually toward the I top. I think it's I pretty agree. great. It's great, and the soups are good too. They yeah. got salad. The I like, sugar cookie I like was Belly. phenomenal. Oh, so I good. I think that not a lot of people know about their cookie situation. The sugar cookie is awesome. It's good a, sugar cookie is fucking It's a huge. better yeah. Jason's Deli because Jason's Deli's fine. This is a they kick it up a notch i like and you can get like these peppers on the sandwich Ooh, that are tasty i love it i don't know we don't have them in la i don't think they're in the west coast but mm-hmm. man, it feels like a midwest thing yeah, yeah i think it started like in the chicago area but i had one recently and i forgot how much i really like pop good Kelly. wreck that's a great wreck <laughs> i used to always go there when i played zanies in chicago yeah so it makes it's sense. like ne- it's yeah. like almost next door yeah. to there right yeah there's one in midtown mm-hmm. a pop belly so yeah r.i.p sarah doms who used to do the interviews for the interrobang we did an interview in there oh really Belly, yeah she was a good good person big comedy wow. and, they, and you can get your sandwiches toasted it used to be the only quiznos did that that's right quiznos is underrated while we're on it yeah i Subway haven't been sucks, there in forever but quiznos quiznos ain't bad but is i that, think i like pot belly. i prefer pot belly to quiznos probably yeah. okay yeah. then yeah both no pedophilia oh yeah maybe it started in chicago <laughs> i remember oh, Itali- i tell it a bit in one of his specials where he said he was doing a show in the middle east he goes i couldn't remember the guy's name it was something with a lot of Q's, U's, and Z's. I called him Queeznos. <laughs> uh, even mispronounces it, which is funny. Queeznos. <laughs> so stupid, but I could kill me. I just picture him walking by a Quiznos and be like, that's a funny word. Six years, I'll write a joke about that. He showed up at Mark's bachelor party and he was in such a bad mood. Oh, oh, yeah, really? We did the episode here and Attell yeah. showed up just like, the, uh, he got up at one top point and was looking around and goes, uh, oh, I'm sorry, I'm just looking for some punchlines. Oh, Oh no! <laughs> Was this the bachelor party? Or are you he did one in Florida, one? and I couldn't go because I went to Dana oh. Gould's wedding in in California, and then uh, you know a lot of comics went there. So we did I, we did our own thing here. Yeah, we did a, we had a bunch of comics on. We had. Uh, Joe DeRosa, Godfrey, Shane yeah. Gillis, uh, yeah, it was what Sean Tell, Patton, Patton, David Tell, you guys Gary had a big Vita. orgy, yeah, and we did big the orgy? Uh, we had we did have a male stripper come by <laughs> yes. just to mix it up, a yeah. cop. A was your Dutch guy. thing the with Bert? Was that what the Florida one? Yes, was? yes. That was where a bunch of you guys were at, like a. We rented a giant a house. He'll be at the bachelor the party, not the wedding. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> he flew on a private jet to come meet us at a. Did he really? Yeah. Really? 
Respect. Dang. From, from Italy. I'm in a I'm in a rental car ah. <laughs> driving around the northeast. <laughs> have you done the private jet for your own gigs no, yet? I'm no, I'm not. I'm not. You'll quite, be there soon. I'm not quite there. You will uh, be. I don't know. My... I've never been in a private jet. What? Yeah. I know you guys have. I'm shocked. Yeah. yeah oh, as I openers, though. As openers. <laughs> Listen, yeah. you're you're in one. And yeah. Epstein's Island. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But that was a cool I'm, island. I'm doing it. I'm not. Yeah. I'm not in one for the environment. <laughs> Oh, there you go. That's a good. I save. feel the same way. Yeah. Although I did hear that Leonardo DiCaprio flies private. So. Yeah, he's I think a he's a big uh, guy. climate change. He guy. does make up for it though. With he raises a lot of money. Yeah, so. and a lot of women. <laughs> Always with the singers in here. Yeah, 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 yeah. So when you was Chelsea lately one of your first like really big breaks because I that, yeah. I remember you really popping off in that show. I'm thinking yeah. of people that really Josh Wolf was another mm-hmm. one. Right, who like really? Moshe you, Kasher, Natasha was on. Yeah, was Moshe big? I didn't Joe remember Coy. Moshe. Coy. Joe yeah. was big. Yeah. yeah, Bobby Lee. Uh huh. Um, yeah, it was my first big gig. I did Last Comic Standing in 2010. Right, that was my first. TV thing. Wow. And then got Chelsea six months later. Yeah. Oh, nice. Last comic's a p- tough experience. Yeah. Ugh. Yeah. I mean, I, when I was, when I did it, they had been off for like two years. And, but before they were all like living in the house together and stuff, like very reality oh, show. Yeah. Yeah. So I, I mean, was like, how I'm can not make that living. Show worse? I don't know. I mean, I was like, I cannot live in a house with oh a bunch God. of comics. Yeah. But they were like, no. We already do that. It's called home. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They're like, it's just stand up. So I said, well, I can do stand up. I mean, yeah. I've not right. been on TV before. What am I going to be picking I remember about? when Gabriel Iglesias yeah. was on it. They like kicked him off for texting someone while what? in the house. Oh, really? And I was like, you can't text? Wow. Yeah. That, yeah. Right. I, I How are you supposed to survive? That. Yeah. Oh, yeah. There's Lonnie Love. God, I really. Look at that. I really uh This is back when T V was fun. My wardrobe choices were dicey <laughs> uh, for many years. You got a you got a tie on. My hair was really dark. I had a tie on. You <laughs> kept it classy. Yeah, what's Chewie uh, doing? He died. He oh. did. Yeah. Uh two or two or three three years ago maybe. Sad. Yeah. If you are that um, small, the life expectancy isn't. Time has oh, no is essence. Right? Time is Life's really off for me right now <laughs> because of the pandemic. Yeah. I can't remember what was pre pandemic and I it, know. Also, well, almost like the like, last two and a half years have kind of stood still. Do you think you and your wife got closer during the pandemic, or do you think it tested yeah. some shit? Mm, that is a well, test. I mean, we got married in the pandemic, oh, so there you I go. think that I think we we passed the test. A lot yeah, of went the other way. Well, you learned that, like, yeah, no one here. <laughs> <laughs> you learned that, like, that you're kind of each other's people, yeah. right? You know, like when we couldn't see anybody else, we had to lean on each other. What was your pandemic uh, routine? What did you, was there anything you did? Like, I was you... a slob. Oh my really? god! Well, because I I didn't realize how much I'd been hustling. Yes, exactly. For, like, Once so you shut off, well, it's like it's it's almost like being an athlete and yeah. just you don't work out anymore and you're like mm-hmm. well I guess I'm just out of shape I put on like right. so much weight but then getting back into shape is so painful <laughs> so I mean getting back hard. on the stage yeah. I was like this is really I painful I had a stutter when I first got back on stage oh my god wow. I was really worried I remember Damn. I came to New York last July and I was did the cellar and I was talking to comics I go I have a stutter right now I'm, Damn. I don't know where it came from or, but then it eventually just went away that's wild um, but yeah I think because you I think had a nervousness I don't know if or just not talking like that on stage you right. know I couldn't like my words just wouldn't come out. It's a muscle you lose it quick. Mm-hmm. It's weird how quick stand up. Yeah. Is so I think I like was I just didn't realize how much I had just been constantly working, constant, constant. Like, and you know it's a business where having one job is never enough. You have to have five, yep. six, know. you know, whatever. Yeah. And so and everything stopped, and for the first time in like fifteen years, I had nothing to do. Yes. And I was like. Well, this at first I was like super bummed out, and then I got way too comfortable. <laughs> I was in sweatpants and flannel and UGG boots and drinking wine every night and watching TV. Mm, I kind of like started to like it. Oh my god! I got, there was, got to a point where we, were, you know, my ex and I were watching a movie like every night. Mm-hmm. We're going to the grocery store. We're just like sampling different candies. Yeah. <laughs> we're just like yeah. let's try. Let's see what Twizzlers <laughs> doing with this like cream filled flavor here. Yeah, Rolos. Well, yeah. and it was like the the. I mean, obviously, I would never want to go back to that time, but there was no FOMO or whatever. Right. You know what I mean? Because it wasn't like there were other comics out there doing a bunch of stuff and you're feeling like you're lugging behind. It was like an equalizer. Like, we're all at home. We all can't really do anything. 
And so you, you didn't feel like you were in this rat race that is all like, cause you know, it's comics. You're always kind of like, Oh, I, you're looking at I gotta be doing more. Shit. I gotta right. be doing more. You, right. know? you feel I mean, guilty. Isn't that yeah. crazy? We, I still can't believe we lived through that shit. I know. Uh, I know. Yeah. I know it's, it's like been said to death, but I, I think about it. I'm like, we lived through, th- that's insane that we just shut down as a country. Is it, Somebody yeah. said it well. They said it's the only time in, you know, in hundreds of years that the whole world had the same problem yeah. at once. Yeah. The whole world had the same problem at the same time. That's not true. Kanye West. <laughs> but uh, no. Uh, no, that's uh, it's crazy. It's uh, we all we all were just stuck. We all were yeah. at home. We yeah. were we were all in like a state of just no movement. Yes. Yeah. For a long fucking time. Like I also I also think like man, Zoom cashed in Skype. Really. Oh my god, that could have been right. Skype. Uh, yeah, could have been Skype. Yeah, yeah the, the 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 plastic dividers cashed in. Like yeah. uh, the heater, outdoor heater for restaurants. A lot of people cleaned up. Also. If you're a therapist, your life just got oh, so much better. Oh, so just like, oh yeah, we therapy. every therapist is like, yeah, I live in Miami now. It's all remote. So I just, you know, yeah, the mask. Yeah, a lot people. of people are still zooming. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I do yeah. it still. Yeah, we do our radio show. I just do it. Because, oh, really? Yeah. Whoa. Well, you know, you're with a, a big company, Netflix, mm-hmm. you know, for your radio show, so they can just zoom it in where it looks pretty good, actually. Yeah, right. They, on the show, but sometimes you, comics, a lot of at home setup can be rough, but right. like. Yeah, I mean, I do another podcast uh, with a football player, Julian Edelman, and we mm-hmm. we zoom in all our guests because they're all football players or yeah. famous people who don't want to come to the fucking studio, <laughs> whether in L.A. or something. But it actually looks pretty good because it's a company. If, yeah. if you get a if you get a legit engineers on that, it's yeah, it can we work. have an awesome producer, so everyone sounds fantastic. You're like yeah. that you don't miss being in the studio, but it allows Tom and I to go on the road and do all the stuff oh, we're doing. Do you do episodes from the road? Yeah, yeah. Huge. Doing it this week from out here just in my little home setup, you know, headphones with the mic attached yeah, to yeah. it. Yeah. You never get the the eh, eh, eh. I mean, sometimes, that. sometimes, yeah, at certain hotels, but, you know. Tom is out. Tom is such a chill, great dude. I, I mean, know. We, we love Tom Papa here. Yeah. Uh, He's, I, mean, I look for a flaw with him. I can't find there's it. There's got to be something, gotta be guys. There's got to be something. He must have killed a kid <laughs> or something. <laughs> ran over somebody and he hid the body. No, something. but he's like a good dude. He, we, he, did a great, he was great when he did our yeah. he did this show, too, and... and uh, yeah, he's one of those dudes. Every time I see him at the cellar, I'm just like excited. Yeah, he's got that like because yeah. you know what? I think part of it is that he's an older guy who still drinks. Yeah, uh-huh. that's nice. So I think that's part of it. He's got his like little round hat on. Oh yeah, he he's got a martini, uh, and I'm just like, I'm like, there's something about this energy that's almost out of place in time. Yeah, yeah. like you expect him to be slapping a secretary's ass while he right, does it. Right. Like I'm like, this shouldn't be around he's just anymore. Enjoying life. Yeah, he's a great. He's a good guy. advice guy too. I call him sometimes when I need a certain life advice. He's always got good he's wise. nuggets yeah. of wisdom. Oh yeah, smart guy, mm-hmm. and he's 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 been through it. Yeah, and he's got a couple of kids. Two kids, yeah. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. He's a good egg. Yeah, I wish he was my dad. <laughs> <laughs> that's what this all boils down yeah. to. <laughs> His last name is Papa. Yeah, that's wow. right. Wow, holy shit! He's everybody's oh my Damn, Papa. blow my mind. He was, he was the first big guy I ever opened for too. Yeah. So that was wow. scary. Yeah. Damn. He murders like people don't give him his due for how he kills. Mm-hmm. He's got his. He's very respected. I hope so. But you, yeah. know, I know what you mean like like. He's, there's a lot of comics we see just rip a room apart. And we're like that person should be rich. Yes. Yeah. You know. Yes. But like I, Tom is very respected. He does very well. But I, you know, I don't. We don't mean to say that at all. But like. We see so many people, and I'm sure it's the same with like actors or musicians. Where you see mm-hmm. someone just tear a room to shreds, yeah. and mm-hmm. you're like, more people should know this name. Yeah. Yes, and but, much like you, he has uh, this positive light about him. Like sometimes you go to the cellar and you're like, oh, that guy's there. All right, he's gonna tear me to pieces. He's mm-hmm. gonna shit on me. Ball busting is is very common. Yeah, which is has its place. But when mm-hmm. you see Tom or you, it's like, hey, let's, yeah. let's hug it out. How about those? Uh, how about those new about those uh, those, uh, the pot bills? We, we pot do a segment on here that we don't do enough. I'll do a toast. It is my toast. People to people who are not a lot. Yeah, a lot of people are a lot. They're yeah. way, they're like way energy deep. vampires. They're brooding. They're brooding. Yeah. yeah, they they kind of uh, they just suck from you at yes. all times. Yes. Their energy sucks. Yeah, and I'm not, if you're struggling, I'm not saying don't tell someone. I'm not saying don't confide. But yeah. there's people whose whole personality is that. Oh. Yeah. Oh, and then yeah. there's people like Tom who every time you see them, you're just like, this dude's just fucking fun. Yeah, it's, it's like a light, a lightness. It's a light. Yeah. Yeah, there's a light. A lightness. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there's something. Well, yeah, exactly. And you guys do a show together. So it's like, 
there's something about that that's like really i mean shout out to people who fucking bring that light here shout here out. A, a, a toast do to we still those raise people the roof? i don't yeah. know yeah. let's raise that shit we'll do it. we're bringing it back <laughs> <laughs> Never went away from me. Yeah. I'm always raising. You're the roof. positive. I feel. Yeah. Like. I mean, I, but I think it's like uh, just a natural demeanor for me. I don't. But know do you where go home and just from. shoot a pillow? No, I think at home I'm more just chill. <laughs> like uh, I'm not like uh, uh, edibles. Charge. Anything? No, not really. No, I, I like. I don't know. I know I'm very lucky to have this, but I genuinely wake up pleasant and wow happy. that's nice and i know not everyone is lucky to have that like chemically people are just yeah, built different yeah, ways sure. uh and not to say that i don't you know wake up being moody or bad days but i would say my my norm is pretty pleasant mm, don't look um, at twitter yeah right so it's just you stay off social media for the most part uh, i mean i have to be on there for work and you know but you don't linger i don't linger no don't linger i don't i I try not to read a lot of comments uh good and bad yeah so because you want to see the good but if you are going to see the good you're going to see the bad so i just kind of I, I'll, I'll go through some like if someone's like you know came to a show i'll be like i'll oh, think so much so i don't like ignore everything but mm. i don't dwell on right the comments and stuff just because I, I do want to be happy you know i i do want to genuinely enjoy my life i don't want my entire life to be wrapped up in this business and yes. what people think of me here here you know? it's, it's, so, it's not it ain't gonna end well i don't want yeah i don't want my value as a person to to be dependent on what people think of me oh boy that's so, a that's a good advice right but, there i mean you know i but, should take a lot of that advice it's because what goes up must come down you know they you got that right people are gonna like you some people <laughs> will like you and then other people th- will hate you just looking at you for no reason oh, yeah. that's just the world we're in now yeah and, I know. and you can't do anything about it so why seek out that you know i think for me i'm like why why what did i do to that you know you just start racking your brain then you have so many insecure thoughts that it kind of starts validating shit that you thought then then you go down a whole spiral i just think it's a slippery slope you know it's like obviously as comics we love to hear laughter we love to hear praise as part of our job but i just don't want to hang my hat on all of that stuff very mature good good and bad Here, yeah, here. I mean, yeah, it's the same mentality with a bad show. I mean, you're mm-hmm. not as good as the as the best said. You're not as bad as the worst. You gotta yeah. kind of have to keep in a safe middle area. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, the comments are right there. So yeah. You really have to like. <laughs> it's like right there. It's brutal sometimes. I mean, you know, I've been doing this since 2010, so I've been called every name in the book. You get kind of used to it. But, you know, what matters is you do these live shows and the people that come seem to have a really good time. They're laughing. They feel good. You're like, that's what matters is yeah. is, is that stuff. And that's that, reality. Yeah, that's right in front of you. Like you, you you're, you're seeing that it is real and it exists. Comments on the Internet. Yeah. That's a whole other. Well, it comments are a lot of people that are literally like you're in a club and they're opening the door and being like, fuck you. And yeah, exactly. Yeah. That's yeah. not one of your people. Exactly. That's just, that's just a person who's peeking in. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I get like, anxi- like if I, every now and then, if I like tweet something that happens to get like a lot of, like you get a joke and it gets a lot of views or comments, I start having heart palpitations. I don't right. want that kind of attention. You know what I mean? I I'm know just what you like, mean. I'm like, even if it's like a funny joke, I oh, start I, going, oh God, yeah. I just, <laughs> yeah. I just thought I was tweeting something yeah. like That's, no one was going to pay I attention. Feel the same way, I feel, it opens the door for bad shit too. I feel so similar to you guys where it's like, we're entertainers. We're trying to get the laugh. We're trying to unify a room of people and they're just laughing. Yeah. And I had a thing a few weeks ago where someone, I'm in the Omaha phony bone. Someone screamed out, free Palestine. Just after a Jeffrey Epstein joke. <laughs> uh-huh. And I'm like, all right, let's 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 investigate this. I'm just sure. having fun with a person, just being right. silly with a person. It, it becomes a thing. Gets so, I post it because it's a funny clip. Mm-hmm. It starts getting picked up by like the, the Jerusalem Post. Oh, really? You know, all these like legitimate news sites are picking up then start people start coming at me hard like oh. this guy this guy is pro apartheid i'm like watch the video oh. i don't say that at any point of the video right. yeah. but people are really but then the guy saying i'm pro apartheid gets a ton of reposts oh. and i'm like oh. i didn't say shit about that i was right. literally making fun of wow. someone i literally I just said do you think the plate do you think the omaha funny bone
alone is the place for your protest. Like yeah, I'm literally right. just being silly with the person. Yeah. How do you even get to apartheid? How do they even connect? She yells that? out, "How do you feel to apartheid?" I said, "How do you feel about fucking up my show?" Oh yeah, uh, that's not even Jesus Christ. I'm just trying to go. I'm like literally, it's a live performance that I'm trying to keep funny because the crowd is uncomfortable. Right. Yes. Right. Wow. But yeah. that's my that's my point is like you can't you can't give them that. No. Because right? because no, no, no. that person. So much of the internet is people not even doing their research and just attacking. Yeah. That person clearly didn't watch the clip. Right. No. That's the person yeah. just attacking me. And they want the attack. They yeah. they don't actually want reality or justice or rationality. Yeah. And if you're like, I never said well, that, that, you they don't, don't get, listen. Nuance doesn't get retweets. No. no. Well, exactly. nuance, or headlines. nuance doesn't work on social media in general. No. Yes. You know, it's not. It's it's not the place for that. So I don't know. I just I just try to make people laugh at my live shows and put up silly videos and tell stories and that's, how I that's the lane that i know and you know totally it's a good lane yeah I mean, it makes people happy I, I i try to you know put out that positivity and hope that it makes people feel good and that's the only thing i can really focus on you yeah know? yeah i hear you it's just it's sad because sometimes people will write a mean thing and i'll like it mm -hmm. and they'll be like oh shit i didn't know you would see this uh uh and yeah. you're like what are you doing? Like, yeah. so you just caved instantly? So you don't even mean it? Like, that's even weirder. You're like, stick to it. Yeah, I'd rather you hate me. I <laughs> Call hate me a me. piece of shit. Right. Mean it. <laughs> but I think I'm so weak-minded. You know, that old Chris Rock joke where he's getting pulled over and the cop's like, you stole this car. He's like, damn, maybe I did. <laughs> you know? That's how I feel. I'm like, <laughs> like you're a whatever, a bigot. I'm like, maybe I am, you know? And you start thinking, but you're like, what the fuck am I listening to this guy in Cleveland for? And well, yeah, but you hate that guy. He's not only he's a piece of shit, he's spineless. Yeah, yeah, I know. The picture of him is, is his profile is just a, like a handgun or something, oh. and you're like, yeah, Jesus always, Christ. always, always a rifle, or an AK-47. Yeah, yeah. The point of the story is follow us all on social media <laughs> <laughs> and leave a comment. Yes, we'll read them, all you, of them. Well, alone. the, uh, the new dark. specials on on Netflix. Uh, yeah. Good fortune. Good fortune. Oh yeah, yeah. Check yeah. It yeah. Out. Your stuff's check great. It out. I mean, oh, it really killer. is hilarious. I and uh, Sweet and Salty is a great special. So check oh, that yeah. out. Too. Check out it's, other it's, stuff. It's on there as well. Uh, listen, you're on the road. Listen, yeah, yeah, I'm doing some club yeah, dates. Yeah, uh, plug some dates. They're you, not you, all you, up you're there. You're rebuilding. I'm doing like Huntsville, Alabama's nice. club, Ontario, California, Oxnard, California, San Jose, and oh, yeah. Irvine. All the California clubs. Those sure. are fun rooms. It'll be like I did not do well in San be, Jose. Uh, oh yeah, it was, I'm doing like working it out, like I'm good so was and I. material kind of stuff. It was a lot of. Uh, they were coming from that big jazz fest, all of them all day. So they were just oh. laying there like. Ah. <laughs> they were jazzed out. They were jazzed yeah. out. Yeah. 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 Yeah, comic or comic uh, audiences are so savvy now to comedy. Like if you go, I'm working out, they go, Oh, cool. Yeah, this is it's, interesting. It's the crowd is so sophisticated now. Yes. Yeah. Well, I like building stuff, you know, in these clubs and them seeing the progress that that you make when you come back around. Oh yeah. Um, but yeah, I'm just I'm announcing a whole new tour that will start the end of January, and I'll be going everywhere again. So nice. It'll be busy. All right. Well, go go see Fortune on the Road. Killer act, new stuff. Yeah. Thanks for coming in. Thanks for having me. Thanks for the Thanks the for whiskey the there, JMO. Cheers, everybody. Mark, what do you got? You plugging some dudes? Oh yeah, I'm at the oh, Wilbur in Boston. I'm at the Joy. I'm at the College Street Music Hall in New Haven. Uh, the Fillmore in Philly. We added a show. Buffalo, uh, Cobb's in San Francisco, Zanies in Nashville. All kinds of fun. Going to Hawaii. Who knew? So, yeah. <laughs> fun stuff. Come on out. MarkNorbanComedy.com and get BodegaCat. BodegaCat.com. Uh, I got Kansas City, Tacoma, Spokane on New Year's, and then theater tour in January. Please come out. New Orleans, Austin, Dallas, Tulsa, St. Louis, Vegas, Vancouver, Seattle, Portland, Salt Lake, uh, Huntington, New York, AC, Royal Oak, Michigan, Minneapolis, Madison, Milwaukee, Dang. New Haven, Boston, Miami, Orlando, mm -hmm. Jacksonville, Atlanta, uh, Charleston, North Carolina, and Durham, uh, Charlottesville, Norfolk, DC, Wilkes Bar, and Port Chester, samuel.com slash shows. Dang. Somebody's been go. busy. Oh, yeah. Somebody's but single. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very unhappy. <laughs> BodegaCatWhiskey.com. Uh, great having you here. Thanks yeah. for so having me, you guys. I appreciate it. Always a pleasure. It was nice drinking with you. You're it was light. awesome. <laughs> Anything, JMO? 
I got a foot in my rib cage. Oh, yeah. Pregnant. Go see the birth. Oh, yeah. She's putting I, it on Zoom. Yeah, I don't know when this yeah. comes out. I would usually do, like, Greenwich Village Comedy Club or Broadway, but I'm going to definitely have to take a pregnancy leave at some point. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. You're doing you better the right thing. Rest. All right. That'll be fun, too. All right. Well, I mean, Ali Wong, That's Christina true, P., yeah. oh, yeah. Schumer, they've all done the pregnant yeah. shows. All right. Well, that'll Not- do it, I think. You're great. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. Guys. Sunday's the day for my name.